Man, FMG Cabo, man. Cabo Vision TV, man. Before I get this video started, y'all go subscribe to the channel, press that like button, comment what's going on, man. So, uh, topic, man. A lot of people been hitting me up, you know what I'm saying, since they know where I'm from, and a lot of people be asking me, like, on my Instagram, like, what I think about 600. Now, me personally, I, uh, when I was a jit, you know what I'm saying, me and dude used to stay up on the same street, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, because I done seen a couple um, stories where they be like 600 from over here, 600 from over there. Um, he grew up over here, which true enough, he grew up in the 60s in the front. 600 grew up on 11th Ave, and if he see this video, he know that I know, because I that's where I grew up at. So I knew him when he was real, real, real young. I don't know him as a grown man. But basically, um, a lot of stuff 600 be doing, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't necessarily do it at all. But what he's trying to show you is that certain things in the uh, in that side of the world, man, you feel me, the gangland, you know what I'm saying? It be a lot of things that's frowned upon, and then it be a lot of things that dudes get a pass with, you know what I'm saying? It be a lot of favoritism in this lifestyle. Um, now, some of the things he do with the police, would I do that now? Nah, you know what I'm saying? But Cuz is a troll. He's like one of the ultimate trolls. You know what I'm saying? But his trolling, which I don't understand, it's all money motivated. It's a lot of guys who done did a lot of worse things than that for money. Uh, he's trying to establish his YouTube channel, and he's going at it by any means because guess what? He doesn't care about what people think. He don't care about it. What I do them necessarily, nah, it just ain't my style. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the internet is the internet. And uh, he's just trying to show y'all like in this game lifestyle, like uh, when it when it comes to real things, real stuff is overlooked. So that's why he always talking about snitching and this, this and that. When it comes to certain people, and I'm not talking about Cowboy. I'm not talking about nobody in particular. You know what I'm saying? But the real things you do in this grimy lifestyle is overlooked. So when you do something real, you never get your flowers for doing nothing real. You never get your flowers for being solid. You never get your flowers for not telling. But when you do some slimy shit, slime out the home, boy, they praise you. Uh, uh. You know, do some, do some straight slimy stuff. They praise you, but the real dudes don't never get their flowers. And that's what he's trying to show you. He's trying to show y'all that there's a lot of favoritism in this game, and a lot of things uh, are watered down. Man, don't get me wrong. You got a few. You still got solid dudes out here, but as YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of YouTubers are like, you feel me? I'm sure it's a whole bunch of guys like, I done gained a couple people who don't like me just about the things on what I speak about. So, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of YouTube, but one thing about me that's different than other YouTubers, they can say some stuff that I don't like and I don't take it personal. But you know what I'm saying? Is it vice versa? It's usually not like that. I see dudes all the time doing certain stuff and they try to portray it as real because they on the internet. But sometimes I look at it like, man, maybe maybe that's a little bit childish in my eyes. But I don't ever look at them different. But I might say a couple words about a couple different people and they don't even like me no more. You know what I'm saying? But he's just trying to show you, bro, like his favoritism in this game. All the suckers get all the love, all the real ones get overlooked. You know what I'm saying?
and that ain't, you feel me, that ain't directed towards no certain, that ain't directed towards no certain person. It's just how the game is, man. That's how the game go. You know what I'm saying? In every hood, you got a bunch of slimy dudes, and uh, you got a bunch of slimy dudes, and you got real ones who actually look out for people in the hood and do things for people in the hood. Just like Brick Baby, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be getting on Brick Baby. Uh, and don't get me wrong, Brick Baby, like, he talk crazy. Me necessarily, like, for what's going on, like, uh, I don't like his lingo on how he address everything, the hood, this, the hood, that. But that's how cuz do his thing. That's how he talk. You know what I'm saying? But other people don't like that, and it, it made them not like Brick Baby, but Brick Baby do some real things, and I'm sure he done did a lot of real things for the hall boys. Just like when he brought, uh, I think it was uh, U Dog, Bo Nelly, and them on No Jumper. That was real, you know what I'm saying? That was real to me, you know what I'm saying? He put the hall boys on the platform because Bo Nelly is one of the hardest rappers out the set. He just don't take it serious. But you know what I'm saying, 600 is just exposing certain things that's going on. And you don't get no flowers for being no real one no more. You get flowers for doing sucker stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, the thing, um, him and Big U, that's a whole nother situation. They two grown men. I don't even speak on certain stuff no more. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I used to speak on everything. But guess what? It's certain things that I don't even speak on no more. And I rarely even speak on these topics, these topics like this. Because there's too many politics to go in the game. And I still be in the city. And, uh, I, you feel me? So I watch kind of like what I'm saying around uh, or on this, on this internet. Because at the end of the day, everything ain't for the internet. So there's a lot of old videos that I had on here that I took down. So now I kind of watch my content on what I say. But you know what I'm saying? Just like it's a bunch of real dudes on this on this YouTube, it's a lot of busters on this YouTube too, bro, at the end of the day. And a lot of the busters is the ones that's a part of the in crowd. I'm saying it's a couple dudes on this YouTube, some certified weenies. I ain't never did a day in the street life. And, and what I trip off is, this is my biggest thing about YouTube and YouTubers is they love to speak on a life that they never lived. Bro, like at the end of the day, homie, we know you was a square. So why is you speaking on gang business? See, I'm old enough now to actually, um, I'm old enough now to actually understand and look at things from a different perspective. Back in the day, I didn't used to look at stuff like that. Everything I looked at, it was like it was on game time. If you wasn't operating like this, you was a sucker. If you did this, if you snitched, you was frowned upon, this, this, and that. But you still frowned upon to this day because at the end of the day, it's all about the situations that you put yourself in. But I just look at human beings like human beings because at the end of the day, a lot of these dudes that people be thinking hard, really be some suckers and I know it I just seen it with my own eyes bro and, and and a lot of these dudes who people betray as suckers be some of the realest homeboys you know what I'm saying like me when it comes to different people always talking about snitches this this and that like me personally I don't care about none of that and I'm gonna tell you why I don't care about none of that because it's a lot of dudes who stuff ain't never just been brought to the table. You see, dudes get exposed every day. Y'all been thinking these rappers was real for the last 10 or 15 years. And every time we look up, it's a new rapper getting exposed from talking too much. And at the end of the day, as a street dude, uh, everybody trying to act like uh, they ain't got no smut. You feel me? And guess what? Guess what? Like, I'ma say out of a hundred per, 
out of 100% of these dudes that y'all think is real, a lot of them got secret smut, undercover smut that ain't never been brought to the light. Ain't nobody rap sheet out here perfect when they come to the streets. You might be a solid dude. You might be an animal on the hood. And guess what? A dude used to mark you out when you was in fifth, sixth grade. But that's the stuff that people never hear about. So I hate when dudes try to get up on the internet and try to portray this certain narrative like they just the realest dude on the earth, bro. Like, cut it out, man. You feel me? Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can say that. Y'all can say that to the people who believe it because, bro, like, I really been out here. So I know been. I know you dudes ain't all the way. I know the majority of them is all the way not smothered out. It was, it was some time in your life that you done did some mark stuff, some buster activity, some things of that nature, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to claim like they the hardest. And this is my thing. And it's cool, homie, you can be the hardest. Because guess what? I done seen some of the hardest homies sitting around with life, sitting around ain't got nothing going on, ain't got no increments coming in because that's what all these dudes on the internet but trying, they just want to be the hardest. You don't want to be the most successful. You don't want to be um, a stand-up guy. You don't want to be the best dad. You just want to be the hardest. But at the end of the day, it's not about being the hardest. It's about being the smartest, homie. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these dudes ain't smart. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like the situation with like 600 and even Brick Baby, like they got good in them. I see the good in them. And you know what I'm saying? Certain things that they do, people don't rock with. But guess what? At the end of the day, ain't everybody gonna like what you do. You feel me? I could be doing, listen, guess what? I could be some doing for, something for the community, doing something for the kids. Like I'm a homie on the hood. I'm doing something for the kids. I'm doing, you feel me? I'm giving back to the community. And guess what? Guess what they gonna say? They gonna say, man, they gonna say, man, could and got soft, man, cuz ain't like that. It's the first thing they gonna say. Then when you out here being hard, you the hardest dude, you hard on everybody. You pressing ops, you doing this, you going to jail. Guess what they gonna say then? Man, cuz stupid, he a crash dummy, ain't he? So, so with that being said, somebody always gonna have something to say. A lot of this stuff that these cats agree with uh, a lot of these stuff that these cats do do i agree with no because everybody not gonna agree with everything that i do but at the end of the day do i look at them any different nah because at the end of the day bro ain't nobody perfect you know what i'm saying these these guys you let these fools tell her they cribbing rat she perfect they've been a gangster since they came out the womb they been smacking little kids since they was three or four. You let them tell it. But at the end of the day, a lot of these dudes, bruh, a lot of these dudes ain't come up like that. A lot of these dudes came up in nice house, households, had respect for their parents, probably used to go outside and get kicked in the butt by a dude down the street. But now that all of a sudden he got put on the set. Now, now he the hardest dude in the world. He ain't got no smut. He want to politic on everybody on what they doing. And that's why, like, I changed up the narrative of my YouTube channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't take nothing personal on YouTube. You see what I'm saying? You see me in the streets, you got an issue with me. You feel me? We, we, we Like, we could get out however you want to get out. But a lot of these dudes don't really be like that. They just be on the internet talking. Ain't never been through stuff. You got dudes on here talking about prison life. Dudes on here talking about snitching who ain't never caught a case before in their life. They ain't never caught a case before in your life, but you got all the theories on somebody being a wreck. You ain't never been on no mission, and 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 the homies that got jammed up, and everybody in here talking about they talking about giving everybody fifty years, and you talking about what you woulda did, but you been working a job your whole life. Dudes like that, I look at like clowns, and then you got a lot of homeboys who just gang bang who ain't never did nothing, they just reps. That's just a dude from the hood. 
Dude, I ain't never slid on no mission, dude. I ain't never put in no work. Dude, I ain't never ran into no op and beat them up, but they got the opinions on everything. You know what I'm saying? So some of this stuff that y'all got to, like on the internet, y'all got to overlook because the dudes y'all think who hard on here, the majority of them be clowns. And the dudes who y'all think is suckers and do a buster activity, they some of the solidest ones because they don't care. And they going to keep it real regardless of how somebody feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So my take, even on 600 and Brick Baby, I see the good in them. Certain things that they do that I wouldn't do, of course. But who am I to judge somebody at the end of the day? Who am I to judge? You see what I'm saying? But you know the streets going the streets going to judge everything and every everybody in the streets not going to like you. It was dudes that hated 600 before he even got on YouTube. It was dudes that hated Brick Baby before they got on YouTube. But now they on a platform. So, you know, everybody got opinion on it and want to speak on it. Me personally, I don't feel no certain type of way about now one of them dudes. You know what I'm saying? I see the good in them and I see the BS in them. You know what I'm saying? But that's my personal opinion. But do I feel any type of way towards them? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Because who am I to judge at the end of the day, bro? Y'all, man, y'all better wake up, man. These dudes on YouTube don't be hard like that, man. At the end of the day. That's why I don't get on here on no super tough guy stuff. You know, because a lot of people that grew up, you know what I'm saying? We trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make a little chili. Get your name going. And that's what 600 call itself doing. The stuff with Big U, that's out of the question. They two grown men. That's something that we not going to even speak on. You other you other YouTubers, y'all can speak on it. And when you run into them, make sure y'all keep that same energy. And that go for all the dudes that everybody be talking about. Talking about like a dog, you wouldn't do this, you wouldn't do that. See them in the streets and see what happened to you. Because yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, there ain't too much, there ain't too many soft people coming up out that district. So, you know, you got a lot of trolls on the internet who get to talking crazy, saying this and saying that, man. Address them people when y'all see them people, man. But for Brick Baby and 600, bro, like, I don't feel no type of way. I see the good in them. I see the BS in them. We all got the good and we all got the BS, and that's just how I roll, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Press that like button. Comment on what's going on, man. It's FMG.